Many of you don't know, but in 2000 and 2001, 2002, I stopped acting. I left the industry. I moved to London because it was a very dark period in my life. Like I said, I had these issues and, you know, I just fell out with some friends. I considered family and I just gave up acting for a while. I needed to get out of, you know, just leave that space for, for a minute. And then I moved to London and I gave up stardom and then... You won't believe it. This is something I've never told people before. But while in London, I was trying to make ends meet. I started working in a care home as a caregiver for adults with special needs. While some might view it as a step down, I don't. You see, taking care of others brought me joy and purpose at the time I needed it most. Because remember, I took care of my mother and my father when they were ill. Because I was alone with them. And when I say taking care of, I'm talking about really taken care of because you see um when you get really ill sometimes becoming continent so i took care of them at that level so it was a no-brainer for me my mother my rock my support system
choose your friends wisely is one advice I always give to young girls in the industry. It's very important to choose who you, you know, there's something that I've said, choose your friends. It is very important to have friends who share the same vision goals with you, you know. People who know your visions are aligned and people who bring the very good energy because look who, the sort of energy you put out in the universe is the sort of energy you receive. That's something that always helps people. So you have to be very careful the sort of energy you surround yourself with and also the sort of energy you're putting out there in the universe. Well, eventually my siblings found a way to get me out of Nigeria. And um, I lived with my brother and his family for a while in London. And gradually, you know, I started getting myself together. Now, during that process, I put my dreams of stardom on hold. Many of you don't know, but in 2000, 2001, 2002, I stopped acting. I left the industry. I moved to London because it was a very dark period in my life. Like I said, I had these issues of, you know, I just fell out with some friends. I considered family. And I just gave up acting for a while. I needed to get out of so, you know, Just leave that space for, for a minute. And then I moved to London and I gave up stardom and then you won't believe it. This is something I've never told people before. But while in London I was trying to make ends meet, I started working in a care home as a caregiver for adults with special needs. While some of my views as a step down, I don't. You see, taking care of others brought me joy and purpose at the time I needed it most. Because remember, I took care of my mother. And my brother when we were here, because I was alone with them. And when I say taking care of, I'm talking about really taking care of. Because you see, um, when you get really ill, it's sometimes becoming continent. So I took care of them at that level. So it was a no brainer for me. Okay, fast forward to 2003. I saved, you know, some money to return to Nigeria to get my stuff and just. Finally, move, you know, just move, relocate to, to London. Nollywood was now beginning to thrive. In fact, we're now calling it Nollywood. We used to call it Africa, Africa film industry or Nigerian film industry at the time. And then uh, some of the producers were urging me to stay. I felt it was risky. I wanted to lose my job. And also, I had started a, a drama school in London. You know, I had just paid the fees before I came to Nigeria holiday. You know, right before I went to Nigeria and holiday, I keep thinking I'm in Nigeria, you know. And then um, one day, Genevieve Inachi calls me. You all know Genevieve, right? Yes! <laughs> you know, so Jenny calls me a few days before I was to go back to London, and she said, Oh, I'm giving you a number to the producer for the film. And I'm like, ah, You know, I'm going back. And she's like, Well, just listen to what he has to say. She was one of the people that advised me to say, actually, to say that. Go back to